Okay, so this is what the wig looked like. It was a body wave when I got it, but y'all know how I feel about body wave, honey. Soon as you get it, it just simply feels like it falls out. So this is everything that came. It came with a wig cap. It came with an additional strap. So I decided to go ahead and bleach it and came out great. Um, so here it is. And I don't know why it's looking orangey on camera, but it's so not. Like, it looks very, very, very natural. I don't know why it looks orangey. I just, obviously, we all look orange here. It's this blue background. It's throwing me. But this is, like, after the bleach. I didn't do no plucking on this. Like, I didn't even feel like it was necessary because I felt like it was a waste of time. It already came like this. I'm like, this looks perfect. This is, like, an hour worth of plucking if it was any other wig. So... As you can see, the it just parts like butter, and it's like it parts all the way to the freaking back, okay? And you don't get that very often with wigs, especially now. You don't get the option to part. It's like either you going to deal with um, shorter, like in the front, they'll give you like a super duper pluck baby hair, or you're going to deal with a full wig that's like this. But the fact that it has... Um, tracks in the back and but it's a 13 by 6 you cannot even tell even the sides feel like it's more it's a little bit more sideburns than anything so here we just went i didn't even decide i didn't even straighten it because it was just it was pointless when it's body wave it's really harder to straighten i did notice that because i was going for a straighter look but i was like never mind let me just go ahead and actually um curl it so I just took my curlers and I curled it. I did some freehanded. I did some with the clamp. I just wanted them to kind of just have some wave in it. If I wanted them to be bigger and last longer, I obviously would have done this. Let them sit overnight and really cool off, cool off. But I just wanted to have some time. I wanted to look like what it looked like before, which is the body wave. We're going to just kind of throw that back in there. But like I said, once you wash body wave, you wash the body and the wave out and it's just more so that the hair is not bone straight it's going to always have a bit of a texture to it which is completely fine with me so i just decided to do this and yeah i just went like and really did i make sure i put enough of hairspray in it just to get a little gummy just so that i knew that the curl would stick because once once you let it dry and you run your fingers and a brush through it this amount of hairspray will help it stick so it's not super straight but it definitely holds a shape it's just not like it's you ever do the prom hot dog curls girl and they just fall like nobody's business that's not what we want here okay so that's why i decided to do it this way as opposed to using a wand because if i would have used a wand i would have ended up with much looser curls and that wasn't that wasn't the idea that wouldn't look <music> Okay, so here, I'm just throwing her on a little bit real swift-like, just to see how she fits and the placement. And even at this point, I was like, oh my God, I'm in love. So I decided to use my boho tape. I have, I brought these in like abundance. Um, so here, I'm just pretty much figuring out where it go. Usually I'll use like something to mark it, but I was like, no, I'm using tape. So it's not like I'm, I can't move it. The great thing about tape is you can pull it up and rearrange it. So here, I like, you're supposed to cut these in half, but usually I use them together, but I kind of ruin these pieces because I did, I forgot to put alcohol on my skin, so I still have makeup, so girl, they did not stick right. So I had to go back, I wasted, that's two, four, six pieces, and 
tried to peel them off, it didn't work. So as you can see here, I went back and used smaller pieces and actually did it the way it was intended. And they come off like, I don't even deal with one side because I wanted to see what it looked like without no adhesive on that side. And girl, as soon as I laid it down, this lace, it just melted into my entire life. When you just be like, wait, hold on. And you just be like, oh my gosh, she looks gorgeous. And I haven't had a moment like this that didn't take me, as you can see by my reaction, that didn't take me forever. And usually my units look like this when they're blonde. It's easier for me to blend the transparent lace than it is for darker lace on blacker hair. So this came out absolutely just perfecto. So I went ahead and cut the rest off. And yeah, it was this... I'm literally, this is my go-to, go-to wig. Like, this is, I'm about to wear the lace off of this because it's so bomb and it's so low maintenance. Listen, you see that reaction? It was very real, okay? Um, new favorite, I mean, I know it's only January, but this is literally my new favorite um, wig of 2019, I mean 2019, 2020, honey. Because not only is it beautiful, is it full, I didn't have to do nothing and it came out like, it just came out the box like this. Like, this is what wig should have been from the jump. Like, I was like, let me, let me get it all up in here so y'all can see. I went back, as you can see, and put a little more curl in it because she had failed tremendously. But yeah, she's beautiful. Okay, so listen. Normally with companies, they don't send me with, well, first off, let me just say, I've never had HD lace before in my life. Like I don't, this is not a thing that was around when I started doing reviews and things of that nature. This was not an option, not even close. We used to have to tint, pluck, dye, fry, pray to the gods and send a pigeon that somebody would make something this simple that you could literally take out of the box and put it on. Well, I believe, I mean, I bleached it, but that's it. Like I was literally able to take this out of the box and put some tape. I don't even have glue. I use tape. Okay. Let me get you close, close. We're going to get you that in my personal business close. Look how great that looks. Look how pretty this is. Okay. And this is literally with no effort. This is no effort. Usually you have to pay somebody to go through and Pluck, pride, disrespect, call your grandmama out of her name just to get a wig that looks decent because most of the lace is so thick and ridiculous and I did not get this at all. First off, I've never, like the, the, just the, it reminds me of Swiss lace. That's like the best example I could give for it. Even though I know it ain't Swiss lace, it's something obviously better, but, um, just everything is just much smaller. Everything feels softer. It blends in. And this will work with anybody's skin tone. I tried it on my sister's hand just to kind of see. And she's lighter than I am. And she still could put this wig on and it not look like, oh, that's a wig. Or your lace is showing. Or you got the wrong lace tint. I didn't use no lace tint. None. For this unit. And I have to say, I am super excited on top of all of that. It's actually really thick. This is full. The only thing I cut, because I wanted to keep it as close as I could, was this bang piece. And it's obviously not as short as the rest of this. So, it comes to here. I think this is 24 or 26. It should have been in the beginning of the video, because I don't remember specifically what my inches were. But this is literally going to be, I want to really, it's lace in the back. And I really wanted to wear this up in like a bun. But because there's only lace here in the back, I don't, I can't. Because you go on the sides, I always feel like you can see because it is tracks in the back. But they put just enough tracks. It's a 13 by 6. So that means that it literally stops. Hold on. It stops right here. So look at all of this space that there is for for you to be able to work with now if you want to do like a side part as you can see my side part is a little bit shorter because of the fact that i have it on the side but i could actually curve this this is like literally where the first track is is right here i could curve this all the way back here and then bring all this forward and make it a bump i want to do cassie's long way to go with this because it would work it's thick enough it's full enough and the only thing in that video that i don't want to do is the fact that her bang was like this short. 
said, you gotta look. But this part was up back. It was just everything. So, yes. Listen. West Kiss hair. We go far back. We go way back. And every time I've ever given them a critique about something, they've always improved. They never made excuses. They never said, oh, well, it's supposed No, they always was like, listen, we know what y'all want. We're going to try our best to do so. This HD film lace literally is the best thing smoking. Because now at this point, you're able to do realistic installs without having to manipulate the world and like drop it on his head in order to get results you know what i'm saying so west kiss hair you guys get a 10 out of 10 i love this i'm going to my curls as you can see have fallen ridiculously but i will be posting a update video for this on my instagram uh my igtv so you guys can see because i really want to do that cassie look i feel like cassie i don't have a baby and i don't got a husband but y'all got a long way to go, these other companies, with this uh, lace. Because y'all ain't hitting it like this, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will catch you in the next one. Oh, no. Oh.